you guys like my Thor costume? Good morning, Paulers. Can you tell I just woke up? We're in this room, the Lion King room. Look at how lovely. And how does that work, Mark? Well, let me see. I'm going to show you. You just... It's like out. a... I don't know where the table's going. It begins as a table. Whoa, the table's going down. Oh, Simba. And Simba, and I have a little nightlight. How cool. It's like I'm on the stage. Oh. Woohoo. When I want to make my bed, I go... Like that. <laughs> Awesome. Voila. And here's mine. It goes into the couch there, and it was very comfortable. It doesn't have a bar in the middle. It's all flat wood. It all comes out as flat panel wood, and uh, very comfortable. Girls are in there, and they have their own place, and this is our place. So good morning. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious kind of day for my sister's birthday. Oh uh, yes, it's yours. I haven't done my hair yet though. Yeah, it's also my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Mama. She's 21 years old. Again. Or, you know, whatever age it is to, to ride on the kiddie rides at Disneyland. Fast Pass Plus is available for many of your favorite Walt Disney World experiences. This guest service included in all. We're going into Epcot again. And we're going to ride the last couple rides that we didn't make it on the other day, which is Fast Track and uh, Mission Space. For those of you who don't know what this big ball is, I never knew what it was. You get on a ride, Spaceship Earth, you go in, and you go into this building, and there's a little spinny doodle, and you, you get on, and it goes slowly up into the ball. And then it goes up, 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 up. And then it comes back down towards the center. And it goes through all the civilization of the Earth. It talks about all of the history. Yeah, great discoveries and inventions. Inventions. And it was from the 70s. I never knew what it was, and now you know what it is. Pretty interesting ride. And one of the most, I think, still like the one of the only original rides. Inventions. Ooh, salt is cool. It's a big difference today of how many people were out compared to when we came here for the 35th. It was completely packed. It's a pretty light day and it's it's even 11:21. Frozen Ever After. Is it a dark ride? Yes, it is. I think it's a dark ride. And we're going to go on it. It's only a 25 minute wait right now. Let's check it out. Wait a second, it says 35 minutes. Love is a 
an open door. Oh, it's locked. Okay, we've been here 25 minutes and the ride said 35 minutes and we guarantee we're going to be longer than 35 minutes. The fast pass line alone looks like it's all the way out the door. I've never stood still for so long, but maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe I can just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I would suggest getting a fast pass for this line because they seem to be letting all the fast passers on and none of us. We've stood in one place for, felt like, at least almost 10 minutes. Remain seated now, and the robot will start moving again soon. Yeah. Delay, that's for sure. We are very sorry before the moment frozen ever after has suspended its operation. We do not know how long it will take before we resume operations. However, if you choose to wait with us, you may do so. Or if you choose to exit, please make your way forward in the queue past Oakens Tokens, where a cast member will be to assist you. Once again, please do not exit the door she came in. Woo woo! Big summer blowout! Uh, we just had a big summer blowout. And we get to maybe not even go on this ride. <laughs> Happy Summer Snow Day from me to you. <laughs> Obviously, it looks like there's some technical difficulties. We've been waiting, and they said that it's down. It's actually temporarily unavailable right now. But we're just going to wait and hopefully see if they start it back up. So it was just a slight bit of anarchy where people were unroping ropes and just kind of exiting wherever they felt but we're gonna stick it out and see if we can maybe luck out and get on to the ride. Oh, ride survivors. They finally got off. That's why we're stuck. Time back. We're exiting because we have to make it to our other fast pass. Um, so, uh, okay, they gave us some fast passes at least. Epcot, the world of tomorrow. Today. Today, we found a little secret passage to the test track. We're going. We've got just a few minutes before our fast passes expire. Come on, girls. Let's go. Get your motors revved. We're designing our own car. So. <laughs> now you have to go. Yeah. It's like an old trick. Optimize. Oh. Cool. Sculpt. Let's sculpt the, the back end out. <laughs> yeah, swoop it way back. And that way forward. How about length? Make it a little shorter. Width. Make it wider. We're going up some terrain. Yeah, Humvee style. Engine. Uh, uh, what? Hybrid. No, let's just do gas. No, let's just do plasma burner. Oh, we can go. Okay, so we'll go mid. We don't want to go too fast, right? Okay, this is what we've got now. It's like a fire truck. Yes. This is yours. Turn it around. 
That's cool. We get to design our own cars on this test track ride. Pretty cool. We still got 10 seconds left. I guess we move on from here. Okay, so we're wondering if the chicken or the egg came first. Here at Epcot, was it the test track or Radiator Springs racers? Which came first? You guys know? Leave a comment. Because hmm. we don't know. No, 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 no. We made it. We're here at the car. And we're walking on right now. Right now. Commencing responsiveness test. Okay. The responsiveness test. Oh, I had my phone out. Whoops. <laughs> For the picture. <laughs> Belongings with you. That was a good brake sure check. check your final right. performance in our scoring area. It's for brakes, right? Because they brake so much. Or a whiplash test. That's what it is. No, it was fine. This ride brought to you by Chevy. I think I was, I think I might have been uh, vlogging a little bit. Yeah. No, no, no. Not good. What's our score? Is 211 good? Because that's what we got. I built like a truck. Ooh, Chorvette. That's how you say it, Chorvette. That's fun, the car that you built, you can choose attributes and music and the narrator's voice. And they put the car that you built into a little commercial, puts it in your own little environment. Boom. Okay, test track was fun, but I think I know which one came first. By uh, judging by the 90s looking designs in there, I'd say that test track was first. Wow, listen to this bamboo. It's sprinkling just a little bit. Sounds really cool. They were making noise before. Oh dear, coming down again. Here's a tip for you guys. I just re reattached my button. Last night I put my button on through my cool Simba shirt and it went through two layers. I wear an undershirt and when I pulled the shirt off, it ripped two holes where this was attached. So, lesson learned, don't attach through two layers with your buttons. Okay, we're trying it for a second time, coming back to Arendelle to see if we can actually get on Frozen Ever After. And we have fast passes now. They gave us some fast passes. Hopefully it works. Flugger, schlager, blicker. Fast side. We were over there. Maybe we'll get on. There's a good chance. We're so close. We've made it this far. We got stopped before just outside that door. The Aurora Borealis. You just want to say Aurora Borealis. <laughs>
going back. <laughs> Oh, there's the real one. Troll. He's got quite a nose on him, too. Okay, we've had some good eats, some good treats, and now we're gonna head out of Epcot and say ta ta for now to it and hit the monorail. Right there, I can see it. And head over to the Magic Kingdom. We just noticed all of these markers, these big old stones, and there's all this writing on it. But when we got closer, we realized it wasn't writing at all. There are a bunch of faces. What is this? People like were... Their souls were taken and put into these stones. I guess it's like a little memento. Maybe when the park opened? What are those things? Hey, look at this. Fit in with these guys. Yeah, I can be here. I'll be. I will just stay here. Sorry, not allowed. Not allowed. Don't have the shirt. I have it at home. Oh, that's true. Side of the contemporary, we're coming up on. We're now entering Disney's right contemporary, a part of Disney Vacation Club. It's right in there. One day, maybe. Hi. Maybe we'll stay there one day. Kingdom, gotta ride the train. One big reason we had to come back, maybe see if we can just hang out with the cast at the Mickey party, the not so scary party, see if they won't kick us out. I remember you. Ah, look at that view right there. That's a lovely view.
this old penny moviola. Wait a second, our last bouncer? Better watch this one. Hello. Yeah, it was played so much the knob came off. train than Disneyland. Is it? All these questions and more with this button. Please continue to remain fully seated with your hands, arms, and legs inside of the train. There are some who say that this steam train is a little old-fashioned, but for me, it's the only way to travel. Behind the wheel of a car, getting from place to place is a migrating in from all quarters of the Milky Way. Carefully step off the train. Well, not much to see here at the World, Walt Disney World train like it is in Disneyland. In fact, when we first came here, we didn't know if the train was running. But I did notice it was. So we had to at least ride it. It just kind of gets you from one place to another. And For the second ride today, cancelled, uh, I guess it wasn't a ride, it was the laughing floor. It was the Monsters Inc. laugh floor. So we're gonna go on Buzz Lightyear, Star Command, headquarters. The power cells, while the rest of you will concentrate on those robots. And remember, through infinity and beyond. Planetary pilot. Ooh, at 204,000. We did good. 
Look how fast these clouds are moving. So basically, at this point, we're infiltrators because we don't have a band on this wrist or this wrist for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So basically, we can't buy anything, we can't ride on anything, and we can't talk to anybody or look at anybody or breathe the oxygen that hovers over Disney World. So we're basically leaving and shunned, but that's okay. That just looks like fun. But we're done. Uh, hun. So I'm gonna take my bun on out of here. That's our last moments in the park, really. So it was fun while it lasted. That basically ends our night and our entire trip at Disney World. So I'll just go ahead and leave this vlog right here. <laughs>